and let's see what's coming your way and we do have the five of pentacles and the ten of pentacles so that was a rejection that was a no thank you uh being left out in a cold from a family setting something that was once very solid it's the ten of pentacles kind of energy right and now we are um moving forward but hey who's in pain day of swords five of pentacles it, it still hurts right that's the energy of still hurting a lot of this connection, this rejection, this person, they really messed up. And we are now heartbroken and double rejection, five of pentacles twice. So that's when we know we need to stop um, shuffling, right? So it looks like a big rejection, Cancer. I'm so sorry to see this. That's a lot of abandonment, a lot of somebody moving forward and surprising us and leaving us by ourselves. So overall energy is the High Priestess. I love this energy, Pisces Cancer. We do have the Hierophant and the Seven of Swords. Somebody messed up like there was no tomorrow. Might have been a Taurus. Um, and they um, decided to do wrong to this commitment, right? <clears throat> Plus there were secrets. We do have, we know the High Priestess is all about secrets. It's all about you know, um, disappointment is the energy of, you know, keeping somebody in the dark, between the dark and the light, somehow. But you know what? I feel that we are going in the right direction. High Priestess, when I see it, it's a world of spirituality, a world of alignment. It is um, simply knowing, right? Knowing that you're going to be fine. Um, but yeah, yeah. They messed up the commitment. I mean, the Hierophant, it was such a solid, right? You invested so much in this. Um, the Hierophant, we know it's traditional marriage values. You invested and you are so serious about it. Somebody came with seven swords, like seven options, right? So, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. The possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Bottom of the deck, the devil. Hell yeah, we're going to take it. I mean, seven of swords and the devil is one and the same energy. It's the energy of toxic, it's the energy of fears, of lying because of fear dishonesty codependency too but we'll see before we jump to conclusions here Taurus energy capricorn energy pisces and yourself oh my god this is the universe saying you love them like crazy um so on your side uh knight of cups twice this is my I love you i want to i want to make love to you energy and you have it twice so I'm pretty sure there was a lot of love. I'm pretty sure there was a lot of manifestations of love, a lot of emotions involved, and such a beautiful, beautiful love, right? Might have been another water sign like yourself, and um, but I feel that um, you know, you know, when we love too much and it's overwhelming and we can't breathe because it's um, you know, so overwhelming. And um, I hope it was not. Um, stress inducer in some way but um yeah you know absolutely too much love i feel cancer this is dedication to the connection this is giving your all to this connection right and it shows up twice kind of like the universe saying dude come on it was way too much you know and a cancer can love i know how <laughs> you tell me so um this person of yours they do have the two of swords and the judgment right Final decision, separation, divorce, sentences of sentence of some sort, um, and the two of swords. So if they left you or they did something that was um, despicable, is it the word? Well, they thought about it, you know, two of swords. They took the time, they contemplated the situation before they made a decision that was very disappointing to you. They gave a lot of thought. Somebody here stood between the dark and the light, contemplating contemplated the commitment what was bringing to them the advantages the energy in it and they've made a decision a final decision a judgment a decision or a judgmental one for that matter 
Mutual energy is between the two of you, Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups. I, you know how it feels. It feels like one was chasing, one was running. See, they are going in the opposite direction. It's like the Queen of Cups going and saying, Hey, you have my heart. I'm giving it to you. I really love you, right? Again, mature energy, a lot of love, a lot of emotions, mature love, knowing exactly um, who she wants to be with. And then we have the Knight of Wands, you know. One night stand, a little bit of, um, you know, let me have fun and then we'll see where this goes. But we did have a marriage here or a commitment that felt like marriage, right? Somebody was that serious about this commitment. The other person was to some extent, but then Seven of Swords and the Devil, right? Temptation kicked in and, um, <clears throat> and well, and then consequences followed. And um, I feel that they, they betrayed... Uh, you know the biggest love that you ever had for somebody and you show up here in the past you show up here on your side so uh, emotionally present and uh, and working right working hard to to fulfill their needs and emotions so cancer even more love right where are we right now we do have the two of wands and the two of cups we know two is for choices so kind of like the universe saying now we need to make choices uh, should I choose love with this person? Probably that the, your overall energy is one of, should I walk away and choose another path or are they the path? And again, two of cups, two of wands. We still have a lot of love, maybe too much love. Um, it is, I mean, please, right? <laughs> it's um, it's a lot of love. I, I believe that uh, it's been a while that I haven't seen a reading where, you know, the person I'm reading for it gives too much love way too much you know and despite that tremendous um, amount of love and quality love and beautiful love we are still at crossroads right we are still at crossroads so some food for thought what are why are we at crossroads if we have and we did our best and we gave so much love and so much commitment why are we you know because maybe this the solution or the answer is in that right now this person of yours, um, Cancer, they do have the Magician and the Ace of Swords. They manifest new beginnings. That is a sense of clarity coming to them. That is a sense of communication that I feel they want to talk, but they are still in the visualization manifestation mode. Um, somebody here, I'm not going to lie, is contemplating the future and looking into. The Magician is feeling confident, having the tools and looking uh, into the future and, and start starting to design right what he wants to see coming and ace of swords is having a brilliant idea um it's a new vibe right um this person feels like their energy feels like being in new vibes in new energies in one of uh, i want to be smart i want to be make smart choices they might be focusing on a career of some sort um money a business a venture and the magician is i am taking on the world that's that's the uh, the energy of and yeah they came in the past with um something that they probably were hidden were hiding sorry for you, from you it has this energy of contemplating being a little bit blindfolded not seeing the full picture but when they finally saw the full the full picture of what they wanted right they became silent and toxic and and saying nothing hiding so oh well, yeah they were a disappointment and cancer maybe too much love i guess this is how i'm going to um title this reading we do have yourself queen of cups with the page of swords so this is communication they want to talk to you do you want to talk to them but then again you want to express love they want to express new beginnings and manifestation and a lot of love and this is you cancer and you show up here with a knight it the, the one missing is actually king of cups right <laughs> and we have all the royal court, court cards saying you put your your all in this um in this connection right so we have you again standing strong here right at the core of the reading this is all about the love you have for this person all the ideas that you have all your emotions that you have wanting to get clarity about should i move on should i wait what am i supposed to do you know they disappointed you and it's so sad right because you gave so much love so um 
but you know what they got smarter now you know and again they might they might be, be moving into the future but the magician has um, a powerful energy and also a spiritual energy because it says above so below so whatever is written in the big book they are following and implementing on um, you know on the 3d or in the 3d world so it has a small component of spirituality um, and enlightenment with the ace of swords so but still i'm not seeing them walking um, looking towards you um so cancer coming your way eight of cups and justice libra energy but this is um do things right and walk away right emotional disconnection it's the right thing to do this is a decision this is how we balance the scales um this is meeting your destiny and allowing karma to do its job right that is the justice and eight of cups is emotional disconnection that's coming your way finally stepping back a little bit um because again too much love um cancer too much love and um you know what karma is kicking in always you don't have to worry for a bit but i feel that in this particular case cancer this is your decision to walk away right this is your work this is you defining what the universe what you want the universe to bring to you this is you finding a purpose and saying you know what they are not everything right at some point they had all your heart but they are not everything in someone's life now this person of yours i swear to god they are moving towards new beginnings here we do have the chariot which is you and the ace of cups can also be love for you but it does look like a new beginning we have them in a final judgment we have them in the ace of swords now the ace of cups but you show up so for some of you this is a new a renewed cup of love that can happen um you know because they decide but this is the energy coming their way right so again i feel that they break free for a new emotional uh, endeavor of some sort for a new emotional opportunity somebody here moves away is in action mode they are in absolutely action mode they made a fundamental decision in the past and now magician is all about action the chariot is about action ace of swords ace of cups new beginnings while we have you walking away for the fairness of it uh, mutual energies coming your way two of swords and the page of wands contemplating communication um having a little bit of fire in your belly but absolutely a little bit in retreat and thinking about when it comes to you and your person they don't feel like doing something at this time they are contemplating and we have you also contemplating and waiting and making decisions a lot of uh, two in your energy two of wands two of swords two of cups right we need a choice yes we have the love but then there is a choice and the choice is justice fairness karma and emotional disconnection when it comes to this love too much love you know and i feel this person is ready for new beginnings whatever happened it was um you know between the two of you this person just completely destroyed it and they are now looking into the future you know they are ready for something new here now let's see what the universe is guiding us to do we do have manifestation so they have manifestation now the universe is asking you to manifest new beginnings a new plan a new alignment um manifestation is what we put out into the world comes back to us and what we've put in the past is coming back to us we also have manifest peace of mind cancer manifestation and serendipity we need peace of mind we need a quiet place we need to come from a place from a place of divine feminine higher self awakening awareness illumination manifestation and just peace of mind you are divine my love that's a that's the energy here and we also have the garden we need to protect your inner child your inner self your your world and you are also the gardener right you have to nurture yourself and cancer honesty is essential speak with love and truth i don't feel this is about you speaking your truth but i believe it's all about you telling yourself the truth right you love them way too much 
and they actually moved away towards new beginnings here. Somebody has a whole new world in front of them while you love them like you love this person like that is no tomorrow you know um so yeah let's manifest peace of mind come from a place of divinity and self-care and honestly is um, honesty is essential speak with love and truth right be loving towards yourself but please tell yourself the truth they moved on that's the truth here so yeah, too much love, Cancer. Now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow. <laughs> we have self-love. You forgot to love yourself, Cancer, and now we, the universe is reminding you to bring it back into the flow. So you realize that love of self is necessary to love another. So manifest self-love. I'm going to take it because it flipped. We do have abundance, serendipity and abundance. So abundance of peace of mind, that's what we need to work on. So Cancer, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Okay? You are powerful. You are divine. Uh, you are spiritual. That's why you are on my channel, right? We know how to deal with life. And we need that peace of mind. Divine Feminine and Worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, right? So you are a divine human being. We do not worry about, we just allow the universe to do its work. And you do have Justice and Eight of Cups. Trust and walk away. Trust and disconnect. Trust this. It's in your benefit. We do have Surrender to Trust. So trust yourself and your decisions, Cancer. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. And <laughs> bottom of the deck, surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. I feel it has to be a new beginning for you and I feel that the universe is pushing you a little bit. Um, you know, kind of pushing your buttons and saying, no, 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 self-love, peace of mind, abundance, trust, right? And no procrastination. We just um, welcome it as it comes. Now let's have some general guidance. So Cancer, not only you have to trust your intuition, but you are profoundly clairvoyant. So you see things, right? So trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight for your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. Just saying. We do have devotion and we know Cancer has lots, tons. Trust your spiritual guidance, Cancer. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Bottom of the deck, we have hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. And we do have self-love and it goes with self-love, right? So love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts, Cancer. Such a beautiful energy. Only one message of guidance. Love yourself, right? Be devoted to yourself. Accept yourself. Choose loving thoughts when it comes to you talking to yourself. Um, so, hey, Cancer, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.